very gentle, uh, thoughtful, considerate, um, intelligent bloke, um, always uh, very polite, uh, but obviously once you got to know him and you got to know his life and his, histi his history and uh, you worked with him, um, you realised that behind and below all that was a very strong-minded, very determined, very gritty, very brave man and one who, when he started something, was determined to see it through. Um, so my first meetings with him were very, very encouraging given that what he was asking me to do was move down from a club that was uh, in the top five, six of the uh, then first division to a club that was in you know, bottom place in the old Division 2 or Championship. What was he like to work with and what was he like as a chairman, Howard? Uh, the ideal chairman. Um, you discussed things with him. Uh, you brought him into the into the into the plan planning side of it in, in the long term uh, and short term. You chatted it through. You thrashed things out. You tried to get to what you agreed on and what you didn't. Then decided on what you were going to do. And once you'd done that, um, as he did in business, I suppose he was one of the. He, you know, he said. Well, we both agreed, I think, on our first meeting. I said, you're good at business. Um, I think I'm good at football. You look after the business, I look after the football, and that was it. And that's what happened. He left the football side of it to me. Uh, and if we brought anything new into the equation, then obviously, or well, we thought about bringing anything new into the equation, we'd talk about it and make a decision, and that was it. Decision made, move on. It seemed like uh, from the outside, almost uh, a, a perfect team that you you, you had at Ellen Road uh, during those uh, late eighties and early nineties, and certainly winning the championship, and uh, and obviously uh, Leslie Silver, an instrumental part of that. Yeah, um, I suppose I, I I'd been blessed in the sense that all, all all of my manager's jobs prior to Leeds, I'd had a very good relationship with the chairman. It wasn't quite the same after that, but up until then, I'd always had a very good and very strong, very close relationship with the chairman. And uh, once I met Leslie, then probably, you know, that 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 was the zenith of those uh, relationships. But without a shadow of a doubt, it, it's 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 the key, one of the vital ingredients to being successful. Having a strong chairman means nothing. Having a strong chairman who, as it were, is strong in unison with the manager and who is keen to work as a team, uh, then that's what matters and that was what Leslie was. Considering what he achieved at Leeds United, how important a character in the history of the club will he be remembered? I, I, it's a, that's a hard question to answer because obviously since then, despite flirting for a short period with success, it's been it's been a period, a long period of upset and you know gentle sometimes decline and at times violent decline. So um, there's been a lot happened since. So it's not as if you look back, uh, you're able to look back easily without, first of all, thinking about, you know, some of the stuff that's gone in the interim. But certainly uh, as, as time goes by and, and people come to look at uh, the history of Leeds United, he'll go down as, as one of its two or three leading figures.